Hi guys, what we have here on my muscular left is the Peak Design Travel Tripod. This is the carbon fiber version. And in my opinion, this really changed the game when it came to travel tripods because a lot of times you would just leave your tripod at home. I certainly did. They were too big and bulky to carry around. But this thing was so small and light and it packed up so tiny like this that people started actually taking travel tripods around when they were traveling. Well, about a year ago, you Lanzi released this, the F38 Quick Release Travel Tripod, and this puts their own spin on the tiny, lightweight travel tripods. I have been using it for about a year, and I certainly love it, and it's been selling like hotcakes. So now we are here to determine which of these two tripods might be better for you right after I get some pancakes, because I want them now. Pancakes are hotcakes, right? Anyway, let's talk about it. Now, nobody is sponsoring this video. I own both of these tripods, and I don't care which one you buy. I will have affiliate links to both below. You know what I'm saying? But I will talk about the differences, of course, between these two tripods, and hopefully that will give you more clarity on which one you might prefer. But spoiler alert, uh, they're both great. You'll be happy if you own either of these two tripods. In my opinion, if what you are after is a lightweight, stable travel tripod, these two are your jam. So let's start with the heights right away. You can see that fully collapsed, the Peak Design is a little shorter. So when you stand up the Peak Design, is it gonna stand? It is gonna stand. Look at this. And then I will put up the Ulanzi. So the Ulanzi one uh, is about 42 centimeters and the Peak Design is 39 centimeters. 39.5 centimeters to be exact. But the Peak Design does have a little more girth that's a fun word, girth uh, compared to the Ulanzi. The Ulanzi is a little bit easier to pick up in one hand when you have small hands, not that I do. My hands are huge and manly. Now fully extended, the Ulanzi wins out here by a little bit. It is 158.5 centimeters when everything is extended to its max, whereas the peak design is actually 153.5. Now when both columns are fully extended on these tripods, the Ulanzi has a little bit of play, whereas the peak design, it is much more solid when the column is fully extended. And when you don't have the center column extended for these guys, all the legs extended, but not the center column, which is generally how I like to use these. These are lightweight travel tripods. So having the center column extended makes it a little less sturdy on both of these tripods. So uh, it is 131 with the Peak Design centimeters and 134 with the Ulanzi. So, I mean, these two are pretty close. Now, of course, weight is a big factor when it comes to your travel tripod, and the uh, the Peak Design is 1,335 grams, whereas the uh, Ulanzi tripod is actually 1,140 grams, and uh, that is actually a noticeable difference. When you are holding the two tripods, the Ulanzi is definitely noticeably lighter, and that, to me, is a really big thing. I mean, the Peak Design is still really light compared to most tripods. It's it's just not compared to the Ulanzi. So when it comes to the weight, the Peak Design can actually hold nine kilograms and the Ulanzi can hold six kilograms. Now for me, that is plenty. I don't have any setups that are over six kilograms actually. And I would say if you are going to have like a big 600 millimeter lens or something like that, big full frame camera, I wouldn't use either of these two tripods. These are travel tripods. They are not meant for gigantic setups, especially even if they can hold the weight, it's the balance of a big heavy lens and a camera, you know, I just wouldn't want one of these guys holding that type of setup. I would bite the bullet and take a bigger tripod out with me if I was going to use a big deal rig like that. But these ball heads are actually very different, even though they are both quick release ball heads. So I will show you the Peak Design one right here. Cover up my gorgeous eyes. Unlatch this uh, little lever here so it's unlocked. And then you press down on this and then you are out. And uh, the thing about this is the little plate itself is Arca Swiss. So uh, that is an Arca Swiss plate right there. And uh, you can put other Arca Swiss plates here with the Peak Design and it will actually fit. There you go, they are off right now. Now I can actually use a cage. So this cage here from Small Rig is Arca Swiss and uh, I can just put that right here and it clicks in just like 
the Peak Design plate. So that is a really cool feature that you can not only use Peak Design's plate, but you can use other Arca Swiss plates and just stick it right in there. Now with the Ulanzi F38 right here, it's actually, to me, it's a much quicker system. So you just press this button here on the side and then you are good to go and you just put it back on and it's locked. Now, if you want it to stay permanently locked and it won't fall out, you can pull this little pin here and then set it up so that it goes straight up and now it won't come out even if you press the button. But I really like how quick this is and I hear that little click and I know that my camera is secure into my F38 tripod. Uh, I find it to be a faster thing to use and it actually has another thing that I prefer compared to the Peak Design. You see on the bottom of the plate there, there is a slit. So if you have a coin in your pocket or a tool, you can just use that along with the hex key, which is included on the tripod. And I will show you that in a second. Whereas the Peak Design, just take a look at this right here. You see it only has a spot for the hex key. So if you don't have a hex key with you or you lose the one that comes with the Peak Design, then you are out of luck. Whereas at least with the Ulanzi, I can uh, the, just use the uh, a coin or a straight edge and get it. And in speaking of where the hex key is, look at this. This is super clever right here. It's, uh, let's see, am I in focus? Eh, focus, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, I got it. No, I didn't. Here it is. Let's just take it out, okay? So right here is a little, I tell you, I like Sony autofocus, but sometimes, you know, when you're trying to show a product, there's the hex key is inside the column. And that is very cool because you know you are never going to lose your little hex key. So you will always have something to fasten the plate on. And plus, like I said, I usually have a coin or a straight edge with me. So that is not a problem. And I should also mention this plate itself for the Ulanzi is a quick, uh, not just a quick release plate, but it's also an Arca Swiss compatible plate and it actually fits in the Peak Design. So right there, it's in the Peak Design now, but you can't do it the other way around. You can't use the Peak Design plate into the uh, actual F38. No other Arca Swiss compatible plates will fit in to the F38 tripod. And while that may sound like a negative, and I guess it sort of is, the F38 system is so fleshed out and so robust that I'll, I have so many products that take the F38 system now for me. I have uh, right here, you can buy little base plates. I stick these things on everything and it goes into the F38. They have backpack clips like this one right here that uses the F38 plate. They also have available the quick release plates for popular gimbals. This is the DJI Ronin RS3 Mini. They have it for the other DJI gimbals as well as many of the Zhiyun gimbals. So you can just buy those quick release plates or quick release arms and you are good to go. They also have little travel tripods. They have camera straps. They have everything. I use the F38 system. I have those little plates on the bottom of all of my cameras and I have too many cameras. It's camera crisis after all and i just put those on the bottom of my camera and i since that system is so fleshed out i use it all the time now peak design also have a backpack clip i have that right here and people are very fond of that and i can see why it's great if you have this tripod and this backpack clip and that is what you like to use then that is great you can just switch it back and forth and because it's all arca swiss compatible then uh, that could do you some favors but for me personally I use the F38 thing all the time now and I just don't look back. But uh, if you're not planning to swap your camera out to a lot of different devices and gimbals and things like that, then you could just have the backpack uh, strap right here and the actual tripod, which you can stick other Arca Swiss plates on. So it's up to you which one you think is more useful. I do use this a lot more in that way. Oh, and I should mention Yulanzi actually sells a dual plate right here. Can you see that? That is a uh, one side is peak design and one side is the F38. So you can use the F38 for your F38 products. And then for that peak design clip that goes on a backpack, you could use the other side for that if you wanted it on your camera. So if you wanted to make the switch to the F38 system, you can buy a Peak Design compatible plate from Ulanzi themselves. If you don't want to use the F38 quick release head, you can actually replace the center column with a different center column that they have available. In fact, it comes with the tripod 
these days. At least right now, they give you this free when you buy the tripod, just in case you don't want to use the quick release and you want to put your own ball head on top of it. And if you just want to use regular Arca Swiss, they actually have this exact tripod with a different ball head. This is the Zero Y, and right here, it's just the regular Arca Swiss that you just are used to. You uh, twist this off here, and this regular plate right here is everything that this guy has, but just over here with a regular Arca Swiss plate and a little screw to push it in. And uh, then you could use your, uh, you know, small rig cages, things like that with this guy. But I just, I can't live without a quick release system at this point. And this one just does it more for me. Now I mentioned the hex key is hidden in the center column. There's something hidden in the center column too of the uh, Peak Design tripod. As many of you know by now, it is a little phone holder. So uh, that right there, that could be a benefit to people who do a lot of the old mobile photography. You know, in videography, you have a little phone holder included right there. I think that is pretty clever. I do like having the hex key in the center column. I kind of wish I could have both, but the hex key is included on the Peak Design. It's right here on the side, and then you can just pull that out, and uh, you can remove those two little pegs. Like I said, you can use this to tighten the legs, and you can also use this key right here to uh, tighten the plate to your camera. Now, the only problem with the key being here is that it can just pop out pretty easily. Like if it's hit on the bottom, if you're trying to put it in your car, it'll just pop up. Kind of wish there was a little strap or something that could secure it so that it wouldn't, because it does come out if you knock into it. And then, like I said, since the plate itself has to be fastened to the camera with a hex key, and this is the only one you have, and it pops out in your car or something, then that's a real pain in the butt. But if you're in the habit of carrying around little tools like this, this one is from Condor Blue. This one's actually from Ulanze. I have one from Small Rig as well. If you're used to carrying one of those things around, maybe none of this is any big deal to you. Now, the way the ball heads work is also quite different. I put cameras on it this time for the demonstration. So with the Peak Design, when it's fully recessed the head into the legs, then there's nothing you can do. You just have your camera there, it is set up, you can't change anything, you can't pan horizontally, you uh, can't change the camera around. Whereas the Ulanzi, it has uh, right here, you can see it's got this little lever on the back and you can just turn that and now you can pan left or right and you can also undo this clasp here and manipulate it fully recessed without having to raise the center column at all. You do have to raise the column for the peak design. Now, once that's out and you unscrew it here, now you can manipulate it to move it around. And you can now pan left to right, but you can't do it smoothly like this and keep the same position. So I think that's a big advantage for the uh, Ulanzi right there. And another advantage for the Ulanzi, just let me show you here. So let's say you wanted to take, you know, a vertical snapshot. So right now I can't turn the camera horizontally. So it's kind of stuck in this position. So I'll have to find another position to put it in and maybe that's not working. So I can put it over on this side. So now I can take my vertical video or my hor my vertical shot this way. But if I turn it this way, because of the way the teeth are positioned, I, uh, I can't really do that. So I only get one chance to do it vertically. So whereas with the Ulanzi, if you raise the center column here, you undo that lever. I want to take vertical video this way. It's fine. I can turn it all the way over here, take vertical video this way. It's fine. And since it also pans this way, I can just pretty much manipulate it whichever way I want to get the shot that I need. So I will say the Ulanzi ball head is definitely more versatile. It's also a bit easier to get back in. It just goes down and then you can lock it in. Whereas the Peak Design, if you don't have it on the right spot, then it won't go all the way in. Then you, you know, line up the teeth, put it in. Not that big of a deal, but it is something to note. Now Peak Design does sell an accessory for the center column. So if you wanted to attach a ball head that does have, you know, the, uh, horizontal movement, then you can do that for an extra cost. You go in there on the old Peak Design website. So when it comes to the legs, the Peak Design uses more of like a rectangular shape of their legs, whereas the uh, Ulanzi, it's more of the uh, typical circular columns, you know, like it's a rounded columns that you're used to. The Peak Design opted for a different type 
of leg, and that was to help it collapse more into this triangular column it had here. But uh, the Ulanzi one, I think, collapses uh, just as well or better, even though it has the rounded legs. And they both feature a uh, five column system with quick release legs. You can just take all these things off at once. Very nice and smooth here on the Ulanzi, and of course also nice and smooth here on the Peak Design. They are both built extremely well. The carbon fiber, they're both very satisfying to use. I have no complaints about the build quality on either of these two tripods. Now the center column can be taken out in both of the tripods and you can do that under sling mode. You can also, uh, there's a little hole in the ball head that you can stick the Allen key into and then uh, you can remove half of the, it's actually about two thirds of the center column on both of these tripods. So when you want to get extremely low to the ground, then uh, you can do that. However, the F38 comes with these three spikes that you can put on the bottom of your tripod. You can unscrew the feet on the uh, F38 and then put on these included spikes. Now you can get those once again from Peak Design, but it is an extra cost. They both come with very nice carrying cases right here. This one is the Peak Design and this one here is the Ulanzi. Similar once again and very exquisite. So now I guess we should talk about the price a little bit here. The Peak Design is quite a bit more expensive than the Ulanzi tripod. Uh, this is $649 full retail price. The Ulanzi, the full retail price is $369 US, but it's almost always cheaper than that. And I actually reviewed this tripod a year ago when it came out and my coupon code still works, which is great. So you can get even more off. And uh, with my coupon code, which is crisis, I will write it in the description, then uh, you can definitely get this for less than half the price of the Peak Design. Now, I am in the Peak Design affiliate program as well, but they do not offer discount codes at this time. Well, at least to me anyway. So, uh, you know, you'll have to buy it at the full $649. And some people might think as to why they would buy it for $649 when this is available uh, for a cheaper price. And I think a lot of it comes down to the uh, customer service, the that you can be guaranteed when you buy a Peak Design product that uh, it's going to last for life. If it doesn't, they're going to replace it. No questions asked. People love their customer service. Now, Ulanzi says on their website that all parts are replaceable and guaranteed for life, but it's just, I know Peak Design, they're just monsters of customer service. And I've had great dealings with Ulanzi, but you just have such confidence with the Peak Design team. And Peak Design are also very big into the environment. They offset their carbon emissions. They uh, donate 1% of their revenue to environmental nonprofits. And while the tripods themselves, they're designed in the US, but they're manufactured in China and Vietnam, they uh, say that the workers are treated fairly, they have fair pay, and they are entitled to safe working conditions. Now, Ulanzi is designed in China and uh, manufactured in China, and they don't make those same claims on their website, so I can't tell you the status of how they do their things, but certainly that is how Peak Design does it, and it is one of the reasons that uh, people will like to pay a little bit extra for this tripod. And of course, the Peak Design does have a higher load capacity if you have heavier setups, and is also packs down a little bit shorter, and it has no play on the center column when it is fully extended, which are all good points for the Peak Design. But in terms of actual functionality and usability, the uh, Ulanzi F38 is a fantastic tripod, and I think a better value overall than the Peak Design. However, you can buy the Peak Design with confidence, confidence about the environment, also confidence about your unit itself, knowing that uh, this is the only time you're going to need to buy a travel tripod because you know the Peak Design team will have you covered if something ever goes wrong. And I have had nothing but great dealings with both of these companies and these two tripods come highly, highly recommended. So let me know down below what you think. Do either of these tripods, do they float your boat? If so, which one in particular, if neither of these tripods, which tripod do you love? Write it down there and we'll have a nice little discussion about it. So anyway, thanks for watching this. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.